Oh, what's up and welcome to the video. It's Outline Man and we about to play a little bit of, uh, you know, Trails of Cold Steel. We're continuing our way. Today we are going to try to finish Baron Heart. I think we Late did it May. too, so this is in post. So the Lino did, flowers that painted like Trista's it. spring fields um, faded, uh, normal audio replaced by lush greenery and, and a refreshing you breeze. The video. Thank you. With the trials of last month's field study behind us, we found ourselves caught up once oh, more audio in the even of on. school life. School life. So I'm out my man and I'm back. I, I tried to do the intro. But... Both our combat training and academic studies continued to become more and more demanding, but May also heralded the beginning of specialist classes more befitting a military academy. Demanding, wow. That ain't good. More befitting a military academy. My the record is- The revolution oh. 50 years ago changed the way wars were 5,000 laps around a trading yard. <laughs> Instructor Nyanart. I, I think I said There that are right. a number Nyanart. of reasons for this fundamental change, but four factors in particular that I would argue to be the most important. The first is the invention of orbital guns, cannons, and other weaponry. Weaponry. The increased accuracy of these weapons, as well as their ease of maintenance and manufacture, instantly rendered all other firearms obsolete. The second factor is the associated mechanization of the military. Orbital yeah. technology led to the formation of armored divisions made up of tanks and armored cars. The impact this yeah. new kind of tactical unit had on the battlefield, with its enhanced offense, defense, and mobility, cannot be overstated. The third factor is the invention of airships. Warships that rely on the gravity manipulation ability of a flight field to remain in the air simply did not exist before the revolution. The sudden addition of a whole new dimension to war, the sky, made countless new strategies viable that were previously unimaginable. And the last factor is the creation of an entirely new practical science, which may be the biggest, most important change of all. Without orbital technology, such a concept would scarcely man, even have been lot, conceivable. Man, he's talking This, this now, is high school. Boring. Boring. Reen Schwarzer, can you tell the class what that new scientific breakthrough was? Reen Schwarzer, <laughs> can you tell us? Okay, something only possible after orbital revolution, which uh, revolutionized the warfare. That would have to be. Okay, definitely ain't that. I think it's this, right? The orbital communications? Not the orbital arts, right? Okay, cool. And now they stopped voicing. Okay, so that was right, but they done voicing this. Now, we didn't need her help this time. She had to help us last time. Oh, 1 AP. So, I guess her helping me didn't get me the 1 AP last time. Oh, man. They cooking now? Nutritional science cooking for girls. So, home at... Why did Lady Laura have to be placed in a class like that? I was truly looking forward to studying alongside her. Is that girl next to her not the one who scored the highest on the entrance exam? I believe so. Though I also hear she's a mere com. There's something about that silvered hair girl that I find oddly soothing. What? I wonder if she'd let me stroke her hair if I were to ask nicely. Hey, these girls are weird out here. This That's quite enough idle chatter. These girls seem like they like girls. Above such droll behavior. Like what's going on here? As well, we cannot allow ourselves to be bettered by that rabble, even in something as insignificant as the culinary arts. That rabble. Of course not. I'm so accustomed to our chef doing all of the cooking, however, that I must admit I'm finding this all rather challenging. So these the noble students, the nobles, they the rich ones, the rich girls. Could they make it a little less obvious they're talking about us? I mean, seriously. It stands to reason they'd be curious about our class. It's hard to blame them for that, at least. Yeah, at least they're not mean. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I think you've wished that plenty already. <laughs> oh, the computers. The boys are on the computers. That's weird. They should be in wood shop or something. What's going on here? <laughs> Whatever. They, they ain't in wood shop. They I on feel a like I'm finally getting the hang of using an horrible computer. Likewise. 
I was lost at first, but it's slowly beginning to make more sense. I was lost. Well, it is cutting-edge technology here in Erebonia, so I think most people are confused until they've gotten used to it. Machias and Eusis both picked it up surprisingly quickly, though. Yeah, but academics are their thing. And I'm pretty sure Machias has been interested in computers for a while, too. Eusis also seems to get the hang of things far quicker than most people, even if he's not interested in them at all. Machias looks like he's interested in computers. He got glasses. Which probably just adds insult to injury for Machias. I'll bet. I hear they were really butting heads during last month's field study. When I wore glasses, I didn't like computers. They were. At one point, things almost took a violent turn. We were able to hold them back, but I don't think we could have kept them under control for long if Instructor Sarah hadn't arrived. Struck the Sarah. <sighs> we really need to do something about them, but I have no idea what. I don't either, but you're right. This has gone on for way too long as it is. It needs to stop. What could we do? Green Schwarzer. Uh oh. Arrogant <sighs> voice. Huh? Isn't he from class one? Patrick, is it? Patrick Stahl. That's correct. Patrick Heart Arms. <laughs> My full <laughs> name is Patrick that. T. High Arms. Oh, Patrick T. High Arms. I don't believe I need to say anything more than that. He got the voice of Vexen from Kingdom Hearts. Vexen what? is the voice. The mad scientist, my so favorite kid. you're from the High Arms family. Are they prestigious? About as prestigious as they come. The High Armsies are one of the four great houses. Prestigious as they come. They so procedu pr procedures. They so procedurally prestigious. They're slightly lower in rank than the Albareas. Albareas. <laughs> Useless Albareas. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I didn't come here to talk to commoners or fools. So he's a little bit less rich than Usus. I came Not rich to bring enough. Glad some tidings to you, Reen Schwarzer. I am generously extending you welcome to make use of the accommodations on the third floor of the Student Union building. The Student you mean Union. The third floor? That's where the Noble Salon is, right? The Noble Salon. Your father may be a mere baron, but that yeah. still makes you a noble. And though you've had the misfortune of sharing a class with this riffraff riffraff i have decided to use my good name as a member of the high arms family to afford you the privilege of joining us the riffraff riff riders appreciate it well how can i turn him down politely now i'm hoping that this hardly strikes me as the best place to be recruiting new members i'm hoping that we can finish this series like uh in the next week at least one and two. Because I will be playing two after this, too. Usus. Usus Salborea? You will see. You got to play one and two. You can't just play one. No one does that. I wasn't aware the third son of the High Arms family counted playing factions among his hobbies. If you wished for company in the salon, should you not have come to me first? A company in the salon? You? You've been invited countless times. You you simply choose not to come. <laughs> Man. Despite there being no shortage of second years practically begging for your company. I have no interest. I'm too rich. Hmm. <laughs> Suit yourself then. Suit yourself. But you, Shorty, I'm so rich. Make sure I'm you think young. long and hard about this. If you care about your future. You need to start thinking about the connections you're making. Like okay, I said, the connections you might make. <sighs> He's certainly not shy. Not oh, shy, though. He's not. I wasn't sure how to turn him down, either. Thanks for stepping in, Yusis. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help you. But I did cause you some trouble during last month's field study, so... No. That's all. I don't understand this character too much. Last I guess field study is he? Yeah, I think he means the run-in we had with the provincial army. Ah, so he feels partially responsible for his family's actions. Then he must have been looking for a way to apologize to you. Huh? I guess he has a nice side after all. <sighs> I don't want him being nice. He's too rich. Yeah. All right. 
homeroom. Oh, they're not talking. Yeah. It's turbo mode. Turbo mode. Let's go. Speed All through rise. the dial. Uh oh, they talking uh now. Well, I'll see you later, Reen. Later. Oh, are you two going that to music. club activities? Yeah, I am. Did you We've been eating in the cafeteria an awful lot lately. So, maybe we could go to the cafe in Trista today for a change of scenery? Sounds good to me. You want to just meet up in the entrance hall later? Yeah, yeah. Sure. See you then. Bum, 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 Oh, hi, Elisa. Are you off to club practice too? Club practice. Oh, no, not today. Not today. Um. What is, bum, it? Bum. is there something you wanted to ask me? I bum, bum, it's bum. nothing. I'll see you later. Dun, 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 dun. This uh, this how school should have been. What Jam. is that all about? School should have been just like Did this. Did you do Jam. something else to upset her? Dun, 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 dun. Hello, I suppose it's possible I did something wrong without even real <laughs> uh Oh, I cut him off. Speaking in jest, I assure you. Are you planning on going into the old schoolhouse again tomorrow? Yeah. The principal did ask me to keep an eye on it, so I thought I'd make time for a quick look inside. Alright. Please let me know when you're planning to begin the expedition, if you would. I have club activities tomorrow, but as far as I'm concerned, the old schoolhouse takes priority. Thanks. What? You what? Know. One. Excellent. I'll see you tomorrow then. Wait. You're in the chess club, aren't you, Machius? Or are you planning chess. on studying in the library? Three dots. Oh, the music's gone. Since when was it any of your business what I choose to do after class? They took away uh, my music. No, I just... Have I done something to upset you? You were born! Not especially. It's actually my fault for being deceived so easily in the first place. I just oh. don't like people. Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. I'm really sorry. I wasn't trying to deceive you. I just... Save your breath. Whether you're a noble or not is beside the point. The bottom line is you lied to me. And I simply cannot trust those who lie. That's all there is to it. I... Yeah, I know some people like this. It's kind of funny. Don't make any sense. Oh, please think nothing of it. Okay, so now he's running oh, out of here. Um, am I intruding? Oh, no, not at all. Did you need something? I accidentally left one of my textbooks in my desk, so I came back to fetch it. She's praying at her desk. Oh, What's going on here? here it is. You found the textbook. What subject? Take a look. Intermediate mathematics for dummies. Studying hard as always, I see. Them books for it dummies sounds... are really good. Don't Wait, be fooled. Intermediate? Isn't that part of the Sunday school curriculum? Seems a bit basic for you. Oh, <laughs> it's not for me. I promised to help Fee with her math studies. She calling her a dummy. I found this at a bookshop in town and. Thought it might be of some use to her. Ah, okay. Which reminds me, I should really be going. I'm sure she's waiting for me by now. I'll see you later, Reen. Take care. All right, this kid's very nervous. This kid taking forever. Turbo mode. And don't worry. <laughs> uh oh. Huh? I'm sure Machias doesn't hate you or anything. If you can find some way of making him realize how you feel. I'm sure he'll understand. It's just getting through to him that might be tough. Yeah. I 
just have to keep at it. If Emma believes I can make it work, then I'll believe it too. I should probably also get going. Maybe I'll wander around the Academy grounds for a while before returning to the dorm. I will wander around the Academy dorms. Alright, let's see. Where am I supposed to wander though? Put that turbo mode on. Okay, so now we can actually play because we're out of the gauntlet of cutscenes. Let's see here. Okay, some stuff has expired, I see. Okay, I don't really want to wander. I like to progress this story. Let's see, where am I supposed to be going out here? Okay, so this will progress it here, so let's... Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, so where are we going? Okay, this will progress it. Stay outside. And let's go back. Hey there, first year. Who is this? Oh, it's voice too. I gotta listen. Oh, it's you. Who's he again? I'm not going to play along with your scams this time, so you might as well be on your way. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hustle you before. Honestly. Oh, the hustling man with the coin. I remember. Did you uh, figure out how I did it though? If you really want your 50 mirror back, I'll be happy to hand it over. But wouldn't you rather feel like you earned it? Come on, what do you say? Why would I want to earn my own money back? Hmm. There had to have been a trick to it. Some form of sleight of hand. Something that wasn't as it seemed. If I had to guess, I'd say the crux of this illusion was... The bandana around his head, the drawstring bag at his feet, but the coin was never tossed. Maybe a coin was no, he definitely threw it into the air. I watched him do it, which means it must have been. All right, all right. Of course, I'm pretty sure he had a bag at his feet, which means you threw the coin in the air, but let it fall instead of trying to catch it. You let it fall right into the open bag, lying in wait for it at your feet. Am I right? Yeah. Not bad. It took you a while to get there, but I'll give it to you. So I was right. Yep, spot on. And a promise is a promise, so here's your 50 mirror bag. He lost it. Well, my money uh, is. Sorry, I've only got 10 mirror on me. Ugh, it's fine. Just forget it. It's only 50 mirror. You can keep it. Oh, really? I get all that in That's a dungeon. Pretty generous. Hey, stop trying to leech money off innocent first years, you louse. <laughs> oh, leech. crap. It's the she-devil. What? Wow. The second year student! Uh-oh, this one's slow creeping with a turbo bow. Turbo. There we go. A bicycle? Looks like it's powered by orbital energy. It's a motorcycle. Wait, I've seen this girl somewhere before. Yurene, I take it. I've been hearing all about you from Toa and George. Sounds like you pulled off some pretty amazing stuff in your field study last month. I'm surprised you know my name, actually. Reen Schwarzer. I didn't think I'd guess I should still officially introduce myself, though. I'm Reen Schwarzer. Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. Same. Just like the Swartzer boss in Kingdom Hearts. Angelica Rogner. I'm Angelica. Angelica Rogner. Uh, Rogner. Glad I could finally make your acquaintance. Rogner? As in Marquis Rogner? Head of one of the four great houses? Four great houses. <laughs> Same reaction every time. So she rich too. It's yeah, all rich. I'm his unworthy daughter. But he doesn't really want to have anything to do with me since I go around dressed like this. What? Uh, I think it's less how you dress and more how you behave. Where are you going on that bike at this hour anyway? Oh, George finally finished tuning the Orbital engine. So I figured I'd give it a run to the capital and back and see how it holds up. <sighs> sure must be nice not to have a care in the world. 
Look who's talking. So you do ride it like a bike. <laughs> yeah, this is a motorcycle oh. ring. We got those in real life. They look just like... Maybe <laughs> well, not like that, but they... I'm thinking of putting in a request for you sometime. If I do, I'd sure appreciate a swift response. Vroom! I... Vroom! Don't. I like the cutscenes with the second years. Huh. Lost for words. Their cutscenes are always. That's a little something George put together a while back. He calls it an orbital. Man, George be making everything. Pretty cool, huh? Is he the only engineer in the engineer club? It is. It's kind of like a steel horse. No, it's kind of like a motorcycle, steel horse. I'm guessing you can't buy those in any shops. Nah. Nah. The Ruhr Institute of Technology started putting that one together as part of a test. Then George finished it off. Jellica put up the money for the parts herself. Oh, but Toa and I helped out too. Sounds like it must have been a pretty challenging project. <laughs> Whoa! Well, oh. Toa and George then? Angelica said she'd heard all about me from them. Maybe you had a little something to do with that too? Yeah, well, we're all from game. different classes, but we've kind of stuck together for a while now. Come to think of it, I never did introduce myself. No. Bandana boy. Crow. Armbrust. Name's Crow Armbrust. Okay, I got it right. Year, class five. I'm sure I'll catch you around again. Later. Where you going? Whatever. So, his name's Crow, huh? Angelica's the daughter of Marquis Rogner. Toa's the student council president. George is head of the engineering club. It seems like every second year I meet is somebody important. It's funny. Not him, though. He just regular dude. All right, chapter two. The Vendette City. The Vendette City? Hang out in the dormitory. Stay in your room. Stay in your room. Why would I want to hang out? Uh oh, my shirt is going into the screen. Look at them trees. We got the turbo mode. Our mail. Okay, so this is required schoolhouse. And the rest of the stuff don't really matter. Okay. So let's get to that schoolhouse because we always got to do the schoolhouse in this game. Let's get there. Okay, so we got fast travel. Oh yeah, and we got these social link things. Let's let's do one. Uh, let's okay. Wait. So where are we now? Are we in the dormitory. So in the dormitory. Yeah, class dormitory. Let's go up there and talk to uh, the teacher. Where the teacher at? Say the teacher on third floor. And let's talk to the teacher on third floor. So we should be able to talk to not everybody, but most people, I guess. Is this third floor? Say is this third floor? There she go. Okay, let's talk to the teacher. Okay, this is the bonding events. I, I mean, I don't really need to do them because like, it's not much I can really do with these bonding events. Like, I, I guess they be chilling and talking to the characters. I don't really remember most of the bonding events. I, I used to know them, but I forgot. And some people I remembered more than others. and. I did not pay attention to hers. Like, I don't know if she was just being drunk or stupid all day. I, I really don't know. Like, I did not pay attention to it. But the bond has been strengthened. And so now, let's go to that cafe with uh, Crow, they call him. Where is he? All right, Crow. Let's go there. Let's see. He right at the cafe. Let's talk to him. Just love him a cafe. Wait, oh, I must say no to him. All right, so Crow going to be talking about, what did he talk about? That he like his headband or something. I like my headband, and I'm Crow, and I like conning kids out of money with the game of Blade. So I'm just going to make up their stuff. I like to just beat down unsuspecting people for a quick hustle at the drop of a hat. This is the game you played on the train, and I'm playing it in real life to scam some kids. So that's Crow, scamming kids all around the world. So now let's go talk to uh, <laughs> the bookstore. Kanye's books bookstore. 
Okay, wait, wait, here go Kanye behind the thing. What you want, Kanye? So Kanye West want a quest for us to do. I might not do it, Kanye. Leave me alone, Kanye. All right, anyway, so where am I? There she go. So she in the books because she likes, you know, she likes books. So this might be her talking about, I'm going to get some books so I can teach Fee how to learn because Fee is dumb. And so I got these books and you know I'm the smart one because I got the glasses. And you know Machias is the other smart one because he also has the glasses. We will perpetuate the stereotype of we're smart with glasses. So now let's go ahead and go over here and we got Gaius. Let's do Gaius. Is he on the second floor? Let's go get Gaius. Where is Gaius on the second floor though, man? And forget Gaius. I can't even find him, man. Come on, Gaius. Where you at? He ain't in there. Where you at, Gaius? You here, Gaius? Nah, he ain't in there. Gaius, come on. Where are you? Nah, he ain't in there either. Man, I can't find Gaius. That joker gone. Music room. Is he in the music room? No, that's Elliot. I need Gaius. Where's Gaius? Nope, that's the cooking room. That ain't him. All right. Where is he? He's an artist. Okay, Gaius is an artist. So let's go get Gaius' stuff. All right. Come on now. So I'm making the best painting. I am Picasso. I am the one that will paint nothing. I don't paint anything, and I'm so impressed with you using a computer that I paint a computer. Okay, he got to level five. So he needed some points, so I must have not finished guys' stuff. Oh, wow. That don't shock me too much that I didn't finish his stuff. All right, so anyway, let's go to the old school house. So in the old school house, we have the ability to get it started. Let's get it started. Yeah. Let's get it started. Yeah. All right. So we're going to. Oh, we got choices now. Okay. There's Gaius. Okay. So. Oh, we can put all of them in there, really. Okay. So let's put. Let's put you, you, you. And we'll put Gaius back there because, man, I do not like using them. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the exploring the house. And you guys are not voicing this, so we won't read it. So let's go into the dungeon. So this is the platform where we shall reside. Now, if I remember correctly, we should be continuing this dungeon from wherever it it may have been last time. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, I see a number two, so I think we need to go to the number two. The number two is where we are supposed to be in this mysterious dungeon, floor two. So this this crazy mysterious dungeon it just makes no sense to me like i don't know why we have it in this game actually but um now if you're familiar with the trails of series this kind of happened in the sky series too like we were just on the field roaming around and then suddenly we're in a dungeon and i i never really understand All why right, and how let's get started so where's the map wait name the map okay map say oh man map say we in a dungeon for real okay so map Okay, let's go. Let's go this way or something. Move out of our way, man. Okay, where are we going in this dungeon, man? Like, I don't know where we supposed to get and go, but... Okay, what's this? So this is a thing. Okay, so that's that's that guy. Forget that guy. Okay, here's a ladder. Let's go up this ladder. Maybe this will get us through? Okay, so he got treasure over there. Give me this. Treasure chest. Okay, where you at? You scared of me? Yeah, you scared me. Okay, here's another ladder. Maybe this will get us to our next zone. Okay, are we getting any closer to the exit? Oh, man, where are we going? Okay, so they say the depths. Okay, so I think I go this way, and then I can get to the exit here. Out of my way, you. Okay, wait, here's a button right here. What's that do? Okay, that put up a route for us, so I guess we can go down that route. So let's see, where we at now? Okay, so now we can... Oh man, what are we doing out here? Okay, so now there's nothing but that block man over there. Okay, so now that's up, so we can't go there. And we got... Oh man, what we got out here? So we got that guy. Man, where we going out here, man? What's going on? Here's the treasure chest. 
got that treasure. Okay, so now can we jump down here? All right, cool. Climb it. Climb it. Go, you. All right, so he's going. And now I can go. Oh, I've been able to go that way before. Oh, man, I don't know where to go. Okay, so we got to beat these guys. Get them. You missed? We can't miss. We're unstoppable. Okay? All right, cool. So those guys are handled. Man, how we get out of this dungeon, man? God, they making dungeons that you can't get out of, man. Okay, so we can go this way now. Okay, there we go. Huh, this is the end. Okay, cool. That's the end of the dungeon. Okay, so right to the boss. Let's go. Let's get that boss. There's no way we can lose right now. If we lose right now, it's sad. But let's beat. That's a weird looking boss. Right? It's a swarm of these suckers. Y'all would be a swarm too, wouldn't y'all? If I want to make it with you, y'all make. Okay, let's go ahead and do the uh, resounding beat. Give it up, everyone. Here we go. Okay, you go ahead and link with you. Out of me, just to do it. Right. You go for that one. It's my turn. You hit that one. Same as Ring. Oh, okay. Okay, that didn't do anything, guys. So y'all just kind of suck out here. Uh, let's see. Let's do this S craft. I oh, know it's not gonna hit everybody. How about Gale? Will Gale hit multiple people? No, I won't hit nobody. It just hit this guy. Let's work on it. Let's get him to work. Okay, let you do your S craft, but we never saw it. Let's see how it is. Burr! Burr! Okay, turbo mode back on. Okay, that thing is gone. Okay, so you go ahead and uh, hit that with arrow. My turn. Okay, good job, Elliot. All right, Elliot took him out again. Elliot always takes this. Let me take these things out. And he has leveled up. He has been rewarded for his trouble. So that is the end of that dungeon. I believe that's the end of that dungeon, right? Okay, cool. So now the party is uh, a party. We beat that dungeon. Let's get up out of here. Okay, we shall go to this. Yep. To the entrance. To the mansion. To the mansion. So now we're going to the mansion. And we hit that computer. And this computer should get us to the return to the surface. So we're going underground here. So this is an underground temple in the schoolhouse that's abandoned and and I'm like, what kind of weirdness is that? Like, why would they... Why would they have an abandoned schoolhouse that has, like, a dungeon with monsters and everything in there? Oh, what we got? We got Yodorichi from Bleach? Okay, so then they got Bleach characters in here. And we got this old guy. Oh, he's the principal. Old principal. So we got principal old guy. And, um... I mean... He's Principal Old Guy. What else do you need to know about him? So here's Principal Old Guy. And he's old. And he's he runs a tight ship out here. He He's your principal. Y'all want to complain that that school is too powerful and the enemies in there are too powerful. And he's like, you're just students. I don't want to hear it. So anyway, let's, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. All right, so this is uh, a door. Uh, where are we going now? Okay, so now we can do a few more. We can do a... Uh, we can go to the library and we can get with Eustace. And so let's go talk to Eustace real quick. There he is. Okay, so here's Eustace. So we're going to speed blitz through his dialogue. So Eustace is a, is a noble. And he likes nothing. And he studies. And he's a student. And he lives life. And he wants to do something in life. And he's a character. With no character. And his his bonding event is done. Alright, so anyway, that's that's useless. That's useless. That's useless. Alright, so anyway, now we at the uh, main building. Let's go to the main building. Alright, so feet gotta be some there she go. There she go. So let's get let's get her started. So she is like a girl 
that knows nothing and understands nothing. Now, anyway, this this kid is is wondering why she's in this high school with these teenagers. This kid's also somewhat of a teenager, but this kid don't know anything about school or their arts or anything. But she didn't fall in that schoolhouse, so she knows something. And this kid just does not care about any of this. All right, and she walked away in a skit. Anyway, now let's go ahead and let's see what we got now. Let's, 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 we should be able to wrap this up now. The class dormitory, let's go. Who are we talking to now? The, the cat from Bleach, Yodorichi, is back. So we got the cat from Bleach. She's back. Oh, the cat talking. Wait, just the cat talks. The cat, the cat talks, but but Breen doesn't. So he's rubbing the cat's chinny chin. Oh, the cat about to bite. Yeah, you can't rub cats on their stomach. They start to get you if you do that. I did that before. I got tapped. I was getting clawed up. Cat held me by the hand and started just roar. Started just getting rid of me after that. I was like, man, this cat bogus. Cat was extra bogus. All right, anyway. We were going to the dormitory. Let's get back in there. That's it for the night. Enter the dorm. Oh, Rain. Uh oh, it's it's glasses. Emma. Huh. Good evening. Evening. Did you just get back too? Yeah, I was busy with club related work until just now. I'm glad I ran into you, though. Club related work. I heard from Elisa that you went into the old schoolhouse again. I I, call, I said glasses because she's the only girl with glasses. Just yeah, like Machias is the only boy with glasses. Crazy discoveries while we were at it. They they are both the smartest ones too, which is a weird stereotype. But you we're know. going to need to keep investigating that place on a regular basis, I'd say. Well, I'd be more than happy to accompany you next time. The request was made to the whole of Class Seven, after all, and I'd like to do everything I can to help. Really? I do nothing to That's help. Very kind. Thank you. Maybe I should ask Fee next time too. And Yusus and Machias while I'm at it. Huh? Fee would be a good choice at the very least. I'm sure she'd be more than happy to accompany us, or more than willing anyway. As for Yusus and Machias, I'm sure a chance will present itself for them to make friends eventually. Eventually. I can only hope. We really have to do something about those two already. Oh my! Reen! What happened to your right hand? What? Oh, this? A beautiful lady I ran into in town did it. Or at least I think she was a lady. <laughs> Man. Hey, that's what. <laughs> I think that was a lady. A black cat with really glossy fur. Black cat. I've never seen it around before. I assume it belongs to someone in town since it was wearing a blue ribbon and a bell. I must have done something to offend it, though, because it got all grumpy out of nowhere and scratched me up pretty good. That sound bad, man. Sorry, I'm that so hurt. Sorry. What? Sound painful. Please, um, sit down on the sofa. What? We got a sofa down here. And dress that wound right sit away. down, on the sofa. Thanks. Thanks. I know we had a sofa. Do you know it or something? You know the sofa? Uh, no, not at all. I've just seen it around town a few times. Uh, anyway, I'll go get the first aid kit. Don't I'm go. suspicious. It's just a little scratch. I don't know why she's making such a big deal out of it. Uh oh. Hopefully that scratch I've did not seen implant. Get so flustered before. With the ultimate evil. Scratch of evil, 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 evil. At night, the school at night, with a house of horror and study. There we go. That should do it. This textbook Emma lent me is really helpful. I might actually be able to get decent grades on next month's midterms thanks to her. Doubt I'll be able to even come close to matching her own grades, though. Or Machias's, for that matter. I wasn't trying to help you, but I did. Okay, we heard that before. We ain't hear that again. Whether you're a the bottom, heard him too. 
There's a lot about both Machias and Yusus that we don't know. Machias just seems like a jerk. Maybe in time we can discover something about them that'll help us mend their relationship a little. This seems like a good place to stop for a quick breather. Aben time is about to start anyway. The day is done and it's time to cast off your cares right here. It's the Misty you know and love coming to you live from Radio Trista. Oh, actually, I guess it's already started. Misty's voice is always so soothing. <laughs> Come on, Ree, what the... to enjoy nature and the weather is absolutely perfect for a great hike listeners in heimdall have modder park to enjoy with its spectacular glass garden anything but a great so, hike for those willing to hop on a train i heartily recommend a trip to lunaria nature park administrative issues kept it closed for a while but it finally reopened this month and it's worth making the trip you can relax and take in the scenery of this vast almost mystical forest and then grab a cold beer on the way back what? I can't think of a better way to spend the weekend. Can you? Whoops. With all you students tuning in, maybe I shouldn't recommend boozing it up, should I? You might not be able to grab a cold one just yet, but fresh milk or fruit juice are pretty refreshing in their own way. <laughs> Why is that funny? You, you anyway, know, I thought that was the teacher on the thing. Shall we? This first one's from future three-star chef from Berea Hard. Practical exam. Oh, the practical exam is always funny in this game. Let's let's deal with the practical exam real quick. Let's see what we got today. The Academy Field. No talking, I see. Turbo mode. Uh oh, another one. And another one on your list is here. We have the giant machina mechanical. What's the who's it? Think of a jigget. And that thing is powerful. The power of the what's a who's it and think I'm a jigget. Okay, so he's standing up, he like, yeah, let me fight the what's a who's it and the think I'm a jigget. Oh, so I get to let's see, did I get to Oh, so this is my party. Okay, sure. That's fine, that'll work. Let's go. Come on, let's go. We let's have nothing him. to fear. Hmm. Of course. Okay, let's see. I can. Oh, I can't do anything. Okay, let's go ahead and look. attack. Go. Okay, he's already moved. Let's go ahead and attack. Hey, at least we got turn. something for that. Okay, rush, go ahead. Go ahead, guys. It's my turn. You, okay, you stay crit. Whoa, what was that? My turn. Okay, so we can't attack no more. Get him up. Cool, Let's that thing going. Alright, so it's looking good. They going down, they going down. As they should, as they really should. All right, so these guys gonna fight next? Y'all gonna fight the monster? A team of Elliot and these guys. That sound horrible. Oh, but they also got uh, Emma and Fee on it. That ain't too bad. They look like they lost though. You scrubs. Teamwork is the key. These are Hard and Saint Ark. Both very well-known cities here in the Empire. So group A got um Reen, Emma, Machias, Eusis, and Fee. Oh, okay, Maria the other the capital of the Kreutzen province in the east, right? And St. Ark is the capital of Sutherland. Except in Gaius, we didn't get Gaius. Two provincial capitals. They seem like fair choices. I guess they are, but that's the least of our worries. Is this some kind of sick joke? 
Yeah, they keep putting him in the same group with him. Instructor, what are you trying to prove? You have some sort of personal vendetta against us or something? For a change, I agree with him. This is ludicrous. I refuse to accept these group allocations. Change them at once. I don't know. They seem pretty perfect from where I'm standing. Besides, you're from Berehard, so putting you in Group A was a no-brainer. <sighs> then put me in Group B! I'm not thrilled at the thought of going to St. Ark either, but it's better than gallivanting off to his hometown. Besides, everyone knows Berehard is like a breeding ground for nobles and their dusty old ideas. <laughs> hey, Dusty. The place is crawling with them. Hey, he calling people Dusties. Uh, look at Maki. Well, I can't deny that. <laughs> I can't deny them Dusties. Especially since that's exactly why I put you in Group A to begin with. I'm here to sabotage you kids. I'm no army officer, so I'm not about to go telling you that my orders are absolute and such. That's much too military for my liking. But I am your instructor, and it's my duty to look out for your best interests, which I feel is exactly what I'm doing here. So if you have any objections, then how about the two of you try to make me listen to them by force? Uh, interesting. <laughs> You're not seriously going to... Oh, come on, don't... <laughs> Male pride is so predictable. I knew you couldn't possibly turn down an offer like that. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh-oh, a sword and a gun. Get rid of these kids. Teach them a lesson. Insubordination will not be tolerated. <laughs> That's the spirit. Reed, why don't you give them a hand? I'll take on all three of you. Oh, no. no. Yes, instructor. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. What a powerful aura. Oh, we're doomed out here. Oh, no. All right. It's time for some extreme extra credit. I don't want no extreme extra credit. Oh, if you no. think you can convince me to change your assignments, well, let's just see how well you measure up. Oh, no. All right. Show me what you've got. Turbo My mode. Turn. Okay, so we got this. I can do motivate. So. All right. Yeah, motivate. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Uh, you might as well do your whole special. Get this. I'll handle this. You too. Yeah, link with. Oh, she can only link with you. Do your whole special. Come on, guys. You're doing good. Alright, rain is sealed. Fire thing. Allow you to what? Leave it to me. Seal. Very well. Attack! Here we go. Fire bolt. Got it. Why we did? This can't be happening. I won. Instructor, sir, cheating. We won. You cheater. We won. Uh, are you okay? Well, that was a mess. I had no idea she was that strong. No idea this character would cheat. I believe she Level was holding back, characters. too. Hmm. Her combat style is most unique. I couldn't even hazard a guess as to what school she represents. I guess this means... Yep. Decision's final. <laughs> Why would get beat Chop up? one up for the educator. Group A and Group B will be heading to their destinations this weekend as planned. I'll be expecting souvenirs. Why did Ring get beat up? My <laughs> Your rank's gone up. My rank's gone up. Here's a 
little something from the academy. <laughs> well done. Yeah, I didn't do that other, the other side quest. I didn't want to. Didn't even know what I was supposed to do for him, but I didn't want to. No side quests on this one. There's that window again. I don't sense anyone else on this floor. Seems like everyone's already out of their rooms. Suppose I should head down too. All right, all rare quartz and okay, cool. So, are they about to go on a field trip or how they go? Hey, these guys still fighting. <laughs> Morning. I want to make this very clear before we leave. You are my classmate. You are not my friend. We may be in the same group, but I would appreciate it if you would not address me as casually as you seem want to do. Um. Our class's vice president is as stubborn as ever. Say that again! I dare you! Um. <sighs> Morning. Uh, um, it looks like we're all gathered then. Shall we be leaving? We might as well. Though there's still some time before our train leaves. That's fine. I have no objections either. Uh, well, let's go. This is... Oh, what happened? I got rid of it. Okay, anyway, let's go. All right, so let's get onto their train. Let's see, where is that train? Urgh. Okay, here's the park, and here's Crow is here for some reason. Okay, let's go to the park. No, not that. To the train station. Yes. I shall indeed go to the train station. Oh, there's Group B. Last time, I don't think we saw Group B when we got on the train. Group B it is. The group of students are here on the train to destroy the world. One by one. They fall. Now it's our time to go to Baron Heart. Uh, I don't think it's called Baron Heart, but Berean Heart is that what they called it? Berean Heart. And that's not too far from the Seldrick, but I mean, the Celtic place. Like Berean Heart isn't that different. I mean, that that far from that place. So I'm trying to remember all the places we go. You you go to Seldrick, and then you go to uh, Berean Heart. And then, what's the third one? I, I think I have an idea what the third one is. We won't say anything because we'll, you know. It, it's actually been foreshadowed. Actually, it was foreshadowed in the Sky Game. So if you know, you know. If you don't know, you won't be hearing the spoiler from me. Just enjoy the ride and you'll see. But, hey, if you don't feel like playing these games, I guess watching my playthroughs is somewhat useful. Because then you get to... You know, you get to see the story we're now actually committing and playing on this game. Now, are we going to go all the way to Koro no uh, Kaseki, which is Trails Through Daybreak? Maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know when that can happen. Um, I haven't. I haven't even really beat that game yet. I don't even know if that game has new game plus. I know I got to beat it. I got like four characters or so. This game is actually pretty long if you think about it. Um, it it's not going to be as long for me because I skip these cutscenes and I kind of uh, uh, go through the game where uh, I'm overpowered. I'm a level 99. I, I do like that these RPGs let you be overpowered in New Game Plus. I think it's kind of cool. Okay, I don't want to talk to none of them. Let's just stop talking. Okay, so we met melt at Keldic, and then we had south from Keldic. And as we go south, we're leading into Baronheart, which wasn't too far from Keldic. And that's Eustace's uh, hometown, as they say. So that's not bad.
Lord Usus. Oh, oh, they running quick. Okay, I still got him. Lord Usus, welcome back to Berea Hard. The it's Berea. a pleasure to see you again. Amazing. <laughs> I can't believe all the station employees would abandon their duties to come and welcome him. Oh man, He's that's a funny. Real VIP. The VIP. I've returned here as a student of Thor's MVP. military. I believe you were informed that this manner of excessive welcome is neither necessary nor desired. Were you not? Well, well, yes, but... You're a child of the Elberea household. If anything, we should be apologizing for not giving you an even greater welcome. Maybe they want a raise. Please, allow me to carry your luggage. We would be honored to carry the belongings of your classmates as well. <sighs> that won't be necessary. Huh? Lord Rufus? Uh, Lord Rufus. Rufus. The mole rat. <laughs> It ain't him, Rufus. R Rufus? What? My beloved brother, it's a pleasure to see you again. To think it's been three months. Where did the time go? I wasn't expecting to reunite with you so soon, but I'm delighted to have the opportunity. As am I. You seem well. I take it these are your fellow members of Class 7? These are the fellow members, and they shall be annoying yes that's correct you know about us you know about of us. course i've read all about you in my brother's letters the letters the way he's writing letters to him rufus alborea uses his brother my name is rufus alborea uses is my younger brother you needn't hide your shock it would come as no surprise at all to learn that my brother has never once mentioned me he is after all quite easily embarrassed yeah that's not wow He's being toyed with. I can hardly believe my ears. What happened to the arrogant young upstart we've come to know and mostly tolerate? Ah, but I digress. This is no time for idle chatter. I came to escort you to your lodgings for the weekend. W wait, you don't mean your lodgings for the weekend? <laughs> the car is parked outside. I like how you talking, the car is parked outside. Welcome to the verdant city of Bereahard. I hope you enjoy your stay, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. He make this sound real good, actually. Like, this is a five-star hotel. Uh-oh, this music. Oh, man, not the music. I remember, I hate this soundtrack. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm about to go to sleep. Duh, da -da -da. Oh, no, nothing. Oh, no, not the music of Baron Hart. We got to get up out of here. Turbo mode. Turbo mode will turbo on out of here. Oh no, not the music of Baron Hart. Oh no, please. Please. Nah. I see. So the one responsible for selecting our tasks this time around was. Indeed. I selected them on behalf of my father. Allow me to present you with this. Thank you. I never... Huh? Oh, I skipped. Do you know my father? Certainly. Baron Theo Schwarzer is an old acquaintance of mine. Many years ago, I accompanied him to a falconry competition held in the suburbs of Heimdall. He taught me much about the practice and its etiquette. Why, that must have been ten years ago now. Is he doing well these days? <laughs> yes, he's quite well. And still just as fond of hunting as ever. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> and you must be the son of Governor Regnitz, no? That's correct. I'm surprised you knew. Indeed. I encounter him quite often when taking care of official matters in the capital. Though our positions may be different, he has given me excellent advice in the past. I feel it must be fate that you two would end up in my younger brother's class. Please do try and get along with him. Uh, uh. <laughs> this guy's so polite and nice to him. That's the funny part. It's jarring. I will him. consider the possibility with an open mind. <laughs> Wonderful. And I would be remiss if I were not to acknowledge our two beautiful ladies. No doubt your presence brings a touch of elegance to my younger brother's academic life. Oh, I'm honored you would say so. That's how funny. It's nothing like that. Can we please stop discussing me? And when you say lodgings, you can't possibly be referring to... <laughs> Need you even ask? Naturally, you'll all be staying at the Alborea family mansion. But... <laughs> He's a funny I character. Just, father's instructions were that I should do with you as I wish. 
So, considering the circumstances of your visit, I've had a hotel room prepared. That way you'll be able to concentrate more easily on your field study, no? Oh. Thank you. Truly appreciate it. Scared they're still in the show. This is amazing. Are they done talking? I'm afraid oh. we'll need to end our charming repartee here, however, for I can see your hotel coming into view now. They fantastically wrote his dialogue. I don't even got nothing to say here. Like, I need to be quiet. Let, 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 let that guy talk. This dialogue is written perfectly. It's amazing. Perfect written dialogue right Oh, no dialogue right here. All right, come on. Doop, 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 Turbo mode. That dialogue was written perfectly to a T. The dialogue don't get written no better than that. No, sir. All right, let's see what quest we got to do. Hopefully, it's not too hard for us to take out on this quest. Here's the butler, butler, butler. So I know we take quests on the first day and then on the second day and then usually it's the boss. That's usually how things go. I think last time we did the boss on the second day, but most of the time it's day one, these quests. Uh, two of them are required, so we're going to do them two for sure. And then the other one is just some filler, some filler quests. Now I think this game also has hidden quests that you, you you gotta look up a guy to know where they are I guess because they don't reveal them in this for some weird reason but yeah they have a hidden quest and those are we've been missing all of those so we never really get those in this okay that's not the oh, man. all right let's go okay let's see if there's anything here I think about here nothing's here okay is anything here okay something's here the street seems okay let's go ahead let's accept this quest so we can I don't know what he wants us to do but he is a man that wants us to do some type of quest and it's a long quest too because he talking on and on endlessly about this is the jewelry man right he wants Jewelry parts or something? I don't know. He wants jewelry. And oh, here's this guy. He's back. This guy. So I'll, I'll tell you guys already. Uh, I won't tell you who he is, but I'll tell you that he is a reoccurring character. And I believe this dude showed up in either Sky or Zero. So he showed up in one of the older games and he's here. So. They, I don't think they explained him too well here because he showed up before, which is unfortunate. Okay, what, what do I gotta do? Okay, nothing. What does he want me to do? I'll leave the search for. Okay, so I gotta find something. Okay, that's gonna be annoying. Let's see, nothing's here. Okay, let's go here. Let's see if anything's here. No. What about here? No. Ain't none, none of these places, man. I see a hidden treasure chest. I might as well just get on the highway and then just start heading out. Let's go on the highway. Anything here? Okay, here's something over there. So let's go over there. Now I like the music here. This is some good music. I didn't really care for that music in that other oh, place. A lake. Like, you know. This music's much better. It looks so pretty. Right, get, get get cut the tree. Okay, I found something here. I found the tear thing that he wanted me to find. So that's good. There's nothing else here. So let's head back. Okay, I can't. I can't head back, so I gotta go back the old fashioned way. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm sure we'll explore this dungeon later. I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, tanks are coming through. Tanks? So military tanks are just coming through. So you know something going down here. So tanks are just on the prowl. So we got tanks. Oh, let's see where we're going now. So what I think we gotta go is here. Alright, we go back in there. Should have found the thing that he wanted us to find. I believe we just found it. There we go. So that quest should be uh, done. Did he just eat? I hope they alive. They said they ate something and died. But yeah, so that should be good. Oh, I'm pressing the buttons fast. I'm trying to clear this cutscene. That was a long cutscene, man. Your quest is long. A lot of dialogue. This is how this become a 100-hour RPG, and he was just there watching. Just there watching, man. Like, but anyway, let's keep on going. Okay, we got luck. Okay, so we got uh, a quartz. That's good. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's check those quests so we can uh, actually know where we go. So if we go to quests in chapter two, we gotta do this, which sorcerous canyon monster. Okay, so let's beat the monster. We gotta get to beat that monster. Okay, now we can go here. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So this day about to be over. So we we doing good so far. We we doing pretty good. Uh, my shirt doing pretty good at phasing in and out of existence, but that bridge above us looks like it dates back to the Middle Ages. The Middle Ages. It is. It's I been remember like hundred years. Like let's fight these guys. Right, no, let's just do this. Like I do remember liking this dungeon. I probably should fight them though, so I can just get some uh. Some stats. Okay, well, that wasn't many stats. I just took them out. Okay, now where's the. Oh, this is not the right way. It's that probably a treasure annoying. chest right here. Though. Watch out. Okay, we got some self, self and things. This it's okay, but we should be able to beat it. Very well. It's my turn. Oh, it's getting harder for us to beat these Go. enemies. That's wild. Let's keep like, we were beating these enemies easy, but now they're going to take some finesse now. So what I do have is some quartz I can give them. I can give them better this looks quartz. Like quite an old road, though it does seem well reinforced. The quartz that they have might not be yep. the best. Looks like a lot of our. Let me see real quick. Okay, so he got that. They got, and he got some 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 stuff to him. But they, I don't know if they got anything that's worth it. She has that. I know that one's good. I believe I maxed out all of these, so I got all of the the quartz you would want, I believe. I think. I think I got them. Okay, they want me to follow the path. Where am I going there? Okay, let's see. Uh, the monster is... Oh, the monster is there. Okay, let's take out that monster. Because apparently I can't go to the end of this path until later. I didn't notice there was a path here. Yeah, me neither, but they, they sure did tell us to go to this path. That's it. Okay, we're gonna have to move the uh, scyther out of the way. Okay, Gale. Okay, Gale did pretty good. Actually, that got us all the way up to like our highest uh, CP. What a nice looking treasure chest. Yes, it ain't no nice looking treasure chest. Okay, so I'm gonna have you ring swords to do the uh, S craft or something. Right? Now I have him do Gale. So Gale did pretty good. Very well. Okay, that one gone. That's a turtle. Okay, get that turtle out there. Turtle's gone. All right, cool. That wasn't too bad. Did we get? Okay, okay, we got something still. Okay, I was about to say y'all gotta give us something. Can't just have us get nothing from nothing. Leaves nothing. Okay, there's a a grimy looking boss right there. Okay, let's get the grimy looking boss. Yeah, we should be able to beat the grimy looking boss. Wait, what they say? Would you mind putting me putting the two of us in the front line? We'll form a combat link. Okay. Please change them both, Marcus. Okay. Okay, sure, I'll put them both in. Let's get rid of uh FIFA now. Alright, we're both in. 
change quest monsters continue preparation. No, challenge it, challenge it. We should be able to beat them. Now they're probably just not gonna make it, right? Like that's the only thing we gotta worry about here, right? I know she got the detector or whatever. I think that makes some weaker. I'll handle this. Can they hunt? No, they can't. Are they on a move? My turn. They look like they own a move. Like they look like they own a link to me. The link this. is messed up now. What happened? It's my turn. What happened to their link? Right. Okay, that thing gone Usually now. But they link disappeared. What happened? Oh. That was okay. So, oh, they talking. Just. Sorry. Didn't know they were gonna talk. What the hell is wrong with you, Eustace Alborea? Why did you Alborea. sever the link? Don't even think of trying to place the blame on me, Machius Regnitz. <laughs> you were the one who severed the link. You said you'd cooperate, but you just couldn't do it, could you? You nobles truly are beyond redemption. You're utterly hopeless, through and through. They beyond redemption? God, you asinine little... <laughs> Why can't you see that all of this is born from your own prejudice and narrow-mindedness? Oh, this dialogue. That's enough! Please, calm down! Stay out of this! This is our problem! Why don't we settle this once and for all? Let me show you how much better than you I really am. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the statement right there. <gasps> Oh, the monster bag. The monster is back. There we go. What? I guess I shouldn't have took off the team. Nice work. Reen, are you all right? Hey, are you injured? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. I was so sure we'd killed it, though. Guess I shouldn't have let my guard down. I shouldn't have either. But it's down for good this time. <sighs> I should administer first aid on that scratch. I'll need you to take off your jacket. Mm. Now you a healer like Elliot. Better. Like her and Elliot Hill, right? Thanks, Emma. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm happy I was able to put what we learned from instructor Beatrix's classes to good use. That was last week, right? I'm sorry, Rena. It's our fault that you were injured. Oh, don't worry about it. It wouldn't have happened if I'd been paying more attention. I'm just glad neither of you were hurt. Why are you so... You should rest that shoulder for a while. Yes, absolutely. I'd strongly recommend you fall back from the front line for the time being. Thanks. I will. All right, let's get moving. We need to tell the Provincial Army about the monster we just defeated. Yeah. I suppose it's not a done deal until we file our report. Arok's fort isn't much farther across the canyon. We may need to hurry if we wish to be back in Berea hard before nightfall, however. Let's go. This sounds like the Naruto Storm music, actually. <laughs> wow. Huh? What is it? Uh, I just... Uh... Look so Aum. What? What did you just do? Nothing. I just wanted to check on your bandage. Good, good. It seems fine. But please try your best to keep your shoulder firm. The less it moves, the better. You don't want your injury getting worse now. Uh, okay. I could swear I felt something warm flowing into my body. Maybe I'm just imagining things. <laughs> that sound weird. That sound really weird. What are you talking about? Alright, so Reen unable to do the party. So I guess she the party leader right now. Alright, um... Where's that turbo mode? So I gotta get up out of here. Let's get that treasure chest. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. Mm -hmm. 
I do think it was a good idea to do something like this where they take Reen out of the party because of this. I remember when I first did this, I wasn't aware of that, and that was just a crazy thing to me. But anyway, let's run. Let's get up out of here. Okay, they ain't voicing it, I see. No voice. No way. We never get to voice these cutscenes. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's get to the freedom. Oh, that get him out of the way. Let's not fight him. Watch out. Oh, don't worry. I'm watching out. I'm watching out for those jokers. I'm not trying to fight them. Alright, so now we back in Berenhardt. The capital. Oh, it's huge. Where we have dialogue. Oh, wait, no, we are in Berenhardt. Where we at? We in the fort. So this is Orox Fort, one of the Kreutzen Provincial Army's premier bases. And we doing a lot in day one, man. Not we in how the I was fort? expecting it to look. Day one? They modified an older fort. This is Something crazy. Long uses? No, not at all. Who at this fort? Let's go and give our report on the monster we defeated. Hmm? Okay, we got to report that. Okay. Hey, let's do that. Let's report that we beat that monster. Okay, they go the train going back. Isn't that me? It's a freight train from Berea Looks like it's carrying tanks. Pretty heavily armored ones at that. Those are the latest models from the Reinford Company. They're called Oxen. How you know? How? Come on. We have things to do. Gosh, why does he have to be so... He's right, though. We really should keep moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's suspicious. There's some tanks coming from, I guess, his homeland. So I don't, I don't know what that means for that. Okay, so this ain't the right way. Leave it to me. They want me to go I'll to the main base. Yeah. Who goes? Wait. We're members. We completed. Oh, so we've been expecting. We have completed our tests. We probably, but still. I... Wait. Oh. Why am I skipping this? Lord Eustace. <laughs> what brings you? Sorry, guys. I'll just ah, skip in cussing. That uniform. Are you correct? I've returned to Berea Hard as part of a field study for the academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alberea household. I like this Please music. Me uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eustace. Wow. <laughs> Let us through. Looks like even the provincial army will miss a chance to bend over backwards for him. I would like to know, however, about the contents of that train that just passed Come by. Come on, Machias. Ah, you saw it. Our provincial army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. And we can't let the Imperial Army be stronger than us forever. I see. The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Ah, yes. Some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud talking of. talking a lot. Can... I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. Okay. It is almost evening after Roger that. All right, let's go back. Guys. Let's go back. Y'all yeah, gonna make us roll all the way back. Y'all can't give us Wait, no cart. Wait, what is the meaning of this? Market? <sighs> If we were on the border with Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. But why does the provincial army here need state-of-the-art tanks? Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. It's utter madness! Machias. He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly, it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. I'd heard rumors, but... No doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. So? No, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Berehard. Yeah. Let's go then. Yeah, he, he can't really do anything. You can lodge a complaint, but what that complaint gonna do? Like, it's just, it's just wild right now. I don't know what's going on here. 
They got the the politics, the military, the, the rich, the seems poor, dangerous. Be careful. all of it, man. It's just all what? That's a weird sound. Okay, they're not voicing that, so we got to get back. I'm hearing sirens. What in the? Okay. And then the team, the teacher summoned. It's just fire. Okay, there goes some tanks. Some more tanks. Some more tanks. Tanks galore. The tanks are always gonna be here to destroy the capital. The tanks, the tanks, the tanks are here. Okay, so rain now is okay. All right, let's see. Go, 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 go. Okay, and path one should be that way. Okay. So we getting back to the end of the thing. It's getting there. We going as fast as we can. We in turbo mode and we are sprinting to full speed. And that's as fast as we can go. We made it. And now... We're back. We're finally back. <sighs> My feet are killing me. I bet they are. Look how fast you're going. Beep beep. Dun, 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 dun. And that should conclude day one of Baron Heart. Baron Heart. Okay, now where do we go though? In this. Yeah, we at the end. Or like how that go? Okay, hotel here. Hotel here. Return to the hotel. To the mansion. Return to the... Uh oh, we hear a car. Uh oh. Eustace's dad is an NPC. Is that his dad? Yeah, Duke Alboreo. Has no dialogue. No voice actor. No face. He has the face of an NPC and he's gone. So I'm guessing his mother must be blonde because his hair sure is blonde and his brother's hair was also blonde. So he just, I don't know. NPC was his father, a rich NPC. And now it's nighttime, nightfall, nightfall. Ah, the breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious too. Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. Do you dine here often, Yusis? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. And the chef has been good. I was practically raised on this food. How oh, typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury. Raised on the food, man. That's Though how. I can't deny the quality of the that's food. Awesome. Good food, huh? It wasn't just tasty, but warm, too. Yes. For a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Hmm. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusis stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, if he get rid of the nobles because of I, malnutrition I and bad health, that would be horrible. Right now. That would be terrible. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Keldic for you last month, right? Yep. So you were thinking of us on the first night? Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on. Dare I ask? Uh, well... Nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I... kind of figured that much. We are doing much better this time. That much is true. Huh. And I'm sure our reports will reflect that. That's good. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. It's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? <laughs> oh, I missed a sad quest, Yusis. And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Oh no, I didn't do a sad mm. quest. We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we have the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. First, Tanks we find out taxes are rising throughout the province, 
Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it, but you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent, and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So, you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Ah, oh, the travails of youth! How noble and beautiful they are! It's you! Why he here? Baron Blue Blanc, I believe? Yeah, Baron too. Uh -huh. It's such an honor that you would remember a mere Baron. I see you completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! Yes, nearly. What about you? I didn't look up what a Baron is. Alas, the red I have bear. yet to be blessed with the fateful the red encounter bear. I seek. The Blue Bear. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles. Yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. The Blue Bear. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. <laughs> I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. <laughs> I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't condemn him for it, though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. Would you not agree, my friend? I don't like your implications. <laughs> I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Especially oh, for this game, it don't, don't make pardon sense. pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end. Be it the lovely luster of success or the sad splendor of failure. The splendor of failure sounds good. The splendor of failure. Who does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah. Something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even stranger is that he knew we only have one day left here. You're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Between him and that silver object? We've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. Oh, so we maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's proud. you do one day and then the next day you <laughs> Exactly. Don't? We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. Yeah, because we're going to have the, the, the main missions, and then it's going to be a mission we don't expect, right? That's how the routine of this go? I guess. I don't really know. The cutscenes are really good, though. Like, they are doing good work with their cutscenes here. These cutscenes are good. They're doing great work with these cutscenes right here. <sighs> Can't get to sleep? No, I can't. I could have, you aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah. I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. What? My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. 
My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. In other words, I am his bastard son. I had no idea. So, was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle, on my mother's side. Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. No, that can't be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. I suppose you're right. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences, but you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. Y'all oh, so loud. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship, and who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. <laughs> I get that a lot. Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wound's closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trapdoor opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. It wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as abnormal, perhaps even twisted. <laughs> I uh, don't know how to respond to that. I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so clearly. Well, I owed you as much for having seen through me first. Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health and for your... reputation. That selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I know it can. And you're not the first person to tell me that. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah, but for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow. Dead to that the world? That wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree, it wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. Good night, Yusis. Pleasant dreams. And then this music. Trails of Cold Steel. Drinks are on me! <laughs> that was a weird thing to yell. So the next day. Uh oh, my shirt is going through the screen again. Alright, this should be our last day in Baron. Alright. So far, the story is picking up a little bit here. It's like they're fixing the conflict between these characters and everything. That's good. Because that did not need... Okay, just one mission. Okay, cool. Just the one mission. Let's go ahead and take care of that one mission. And... What kind of cutscenes are we going to get after that? Eustace Alborea. Oh, they talk. What is it, Machias? Right. I will accept no more failures. Today, we will form a combat link. What? As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? 
You really are simple-minded, aren't you? I suppose you overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? Nonsense! I did no such <laughs> thing! He figured it out. I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and... Duh. That sounds like a lie, Machias. Machias. <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. <sighs> Very well. I accept. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Lord Eusus. Arno? So they like Goku and Vegeta a little bit, except if they were both Vegeta, I don't know. What brings you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. Not the chef. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. Chef Bora. However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course. However, His Grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. To the mansion. So I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if His Grace may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. I... Uh, but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. Huh. You've come all the way back to your five of them. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. He's And gone. though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for Good. what that's worth. Now we don't have to worry about putting him off the team anyway. <laughs> of course we will. All right. Let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Understood. Way, I, I can't. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. Turbo mode. Turbo mode. Let's go. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Yusus any further reason to worry, now would we? Huh? Certainly not. Still. What? What is it? If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. Oh, that was weird. S stop that! S stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! What? Rain? You do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? A and Emma, I hope you're ready to score second in our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again. But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. <laughs> you will? And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. You need to start treating classes more seriously. Listen, take proper notes. Raise your hand now and then. And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you. I can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? <laughs> right. I guess he's been put into a corner, so now he's just lashing out on everyone. But anyway, okay, seems like our mission right here starts. Ask about the monster. Okay, so we just gotta deal with that monster then. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, let's check where that monster is supposed to be. Quest, chapter two. So right here, it's in North Carusin Highway Monster. Okay, so let's head there. Turbo mode. It's my turn. Right. My turn. Go. It's Let's my turn. Leave it to me. Okay. I've got this. Wait, it's my, my turn. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. The monster's all the way at the end. Okay. Let's go face it. Is it this? It's the plant. The three-headed plant monster. 
Okay, let's take out the three-headed plant monster. Three-headed plant joker gotta go down. Okay, that's a lot of that. Yeah. Not like that. Yeah, use that. Gleaming Boy, that, like that did pretty good. Don't he got the same thing? No, that ain't good. That's not good. Yeah, do that. Okay, and you can just do the uh, special. Let's okay. Keep okay, that did pretty good. Okay, they won. Okay, we beat the monster, so now we back into the uh, back to Baron Heart. So yeah, back to Baron Heart. To Baron Heart. Oh, they're blowing whistles. Wait, the whistle voice, but they not voice. Why ain't they voice? Oh, is this the funny part where we, you know? Yeah, this part was wild when I first saw it. So we're gonna arrest the kids real quick. So we arrest him, Machias, and then this guy is here. Now this guy, there's a funny reference with him, but there's not much for me to talk about. But Okay, so they put Machias in jail for being uh, classist. We put him in jail. He was too classist, so we threw him in jail. With no voice acted cutscenes, which is kind of funny if you think about it. And I'd be mad at Eustace too if I got put in jail for no reason randomly here. So I guess we're going to go break him out, I guess? I don't know. Where's Eustace? We gotta go get Eustace and get him out of here, right? Like, that's very much unfortunate right there. They just threw him in jail real quick, threw him behind bars. So that's his brother. They 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 thinking of what to do. Cause man, what should they do? This is quite strange, actually. Okay, there's that guy. Uh -oh. Now I don't think he. I don't know if he talks in this at all. But he was in a comic book in in the universe of Sky, and they made him a character for some reason. So, fun fact, he's he's not really supposed to be in the series, but he's in the series. And he was a comic book character in their lore that actually turned into a real character. Now, that won't be the first or, I mean, that won't be the last time that that happens in this series. This has happened in this series again, which is kind of funny. But, uh, anyway, uh, where we gotta go? Like, where are we going? Supposed to be gone. Okay, I should have read what I was supposed to do. Damn, I'm sure. Oh, I this says enter the underground waterway. Okay, so where is the underground waterway? Let's see here. Let's get back in here. Let's see where's the underground waterway. Well, here's the central plaza. Oh, it might be down here. Somewhere down. This looks like a nice spot. No, well, not this way. Uh, let's see if it's down here. Underground waterway, they say. It's close to get to it there. I do believe somewhere down here gets you to the underground waterway. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. No, not no fishing, man. No fishing. Ooh, this looks like a good Maybe spot. You look, there's the underground waterway. There has to be some way to get down there. Hmm. 
Yeah, it says it's down here. But I don't really know how I get... Oh, I think I know. Okay, let's try this place. Let's see. Yeah, this might be how I get down there. Definitely not that way. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. That looks like that's the way. Mm hmm. There we go. Made it. All right. This should be the underground passage. This a uh, okay. She can pick a lock with her finger. What the? What? Purple glow to her finger. That is that's something you don't see every day. What a way to pick a lot. Alright, we're in here in the dungeon of jail. The jail dungeon. Underground jail dungeon. Okay, so this gotta be the big dungeon for the boss, right? Yeah, the jail dungeon. Alright, let's go into the jail jail dungeon and let's just Go through the jail, I mean jail dungeon and get Machias out of here. Okay, so we gotta hit this lever. This lever then. Okay, so the lever okay. Just the kind of thing you'd expect in an old ruin like this. An old dungeon. Do you think it's powered by the water flowing through here? Okay, let's go this way in the dungeon. We in the dungeon now. Alright, okay, let's take that out. Okay, we move that now. Oh! Hey, beat them. We gotta beat these guys in the Gets eliminated. All right, cool. Okay, so he getting some uh some power. Could be in the dungeon. I didn't expect to encounter the three of you down. Oh, well, we got voice acting in the dungeon. What? Is that? I didn't expect to encounter voice acting in the Jesus. dungeon. Jesus. Dungeon. I'm so glad you're safe. Of course I am. Though I can't say I was expecting to be placed under house arrest the moment I returned to the mansion. So that's what yeah. happened. So he was suspicious. And he came in here by himself, though. That's weird. Unfortunately, arresting the Imperial Governor's son under a false charge in order to keep the reformist faction under control. I find it hard to believe my father would attempt something so brazen. He didn't have any intention of talking to me. Not the slightest inclination. This was all planned from the start. <sighs> you, sis. Enough about me. Thanks to my brother, I'm familiar with the general layout of this waterway. I'll lead us to the guardhouse. Let's get moving. Cool, we got four characters. Actually, you were planning on saving him even if you had to do it alone, weren't you? Nothing like last month's field study. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I just can't condone my father's actions. Besides, he's no doubt huddled up, crying and lonely in the corner of his cell right now. <laughs> it's worth rescuing him just to see that. Crying. <laughs> He probably is. All right, let's get moving. He probably is crying. Yes, sir. The entrance to the guardhouse is to the west. We should hurry. This way. I hope he said to this way. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. There's another lattice door. There should be a mechanism to open it somewhere nearby. Why can't I go? Okay, probably because dialogue was happening. Let's treasure. get this treasure chest. Oh, no, 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 get that treasure chest. There you go. Okay, so we got the treasure chest. He said there's a mechanism somewhere nearby, but where's that mechanism? It ain't there. Let's see that mechanism. There it is. Ooh, we can open the gate now. Where, where's that enemy I just saw? Did he just cower? Okay. 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 I want to get rid of him so I can just oh, get some What a waste of time. Let's go. I mean, it is a waste of time, but you know. All right, so now we should be able to go. Okay, this is not the main way. There we go. This is the main way. Let's go. Let's get this. This got to be the way to the dungeon. Let's go. To the dungeon. Oh, you talking now? What do you mean? Stand back. Uh oh, you can get us out. What are we doing now? These, this whole squad got some tricks. What are you doing? I know this smell. Explain yourself, please. Ignition. So you just put a bomb. What? On there, okay. what? 
Done. D done? Fee, did you? Was that a bomb? Portable high powered explosive. Plasticity makes it handy for this kind of espionage work. E explosive? Where could you possibly have gotten such a thing? Fee, I think at this point we have a right to know. What exactly is your background? <laughs> what is your background? So are you an FBI, a CIA agent? What's your background? Reen! The day of the entrance ceremony, I saw you dodging that trap floor the rest of us fell into. You're two years younger than us, yet you're physically no weaker at all. In fact, I'd say when it comes to combat situations, you seem almost like you're holding back. Impossible. Guess you got me. Before I came to the academy, I was a Jaeger. That's where I learned how to handle explosives and use my gun swords. That's all. That's all. Jaeger? I wasn't expecting that. I've heard that term before. The best of the best mercenary outfits are known as Jaeger Corps. Jaeger Corps are almost synonymous with the Grim Reaper. Do you think I'd be going to school with a Jaeger? Me? A Reaper? No, that's that's not. I, I spoke out of turn. I mustn't let prejudices get the better of me. That's right. Knowing her past as they a like the bandits and the thugs of this setting. They they know renowned bandits and thugs. Kind of like a gang or something. And I'm sorry for pride. So we got a gang member up in the uh, on on in the class. That's funny. Not bothered, but we should hurry if we want to save Machias. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's press onward. Right, we should be able to get in there. All right, let's go. Onward. Where he looks, like, what? looks like an underground prison already. Where's his Indeed. jail? Must see. be here somewhere. Am I hearing things? Machius! And still in one piece by the sound of it. Find his jail cell. What are there you all is. doing here? To save you. There's no way the provincial army would just let me go. You didn't sneak in, did you? We came in through the underground waterway. I'll open the cell. How are you going to What the <laughs> We'll explain when we have more time. Yeah, right now we need to get away from here before we're caught. As long as we can make it back to the city, we should be able to bluff our way out of any further trouble. Uh, right. That was fun. Thanks. Oh, I my resigned myself fell. to being stuck in there for a while. Switch this out. I must admit, though, I'm surprised you of all people would come to my aid. <laughs> I only came to get a glimpse at your tear stained face. Plus, I thought this might be a good opportunity to pay back my father. I see. What? Voices? Damn. <sighs> uh oh, the guards. Man, these guards are just bad news. Lord Eustace? As much as I would love to praise you for a job well done, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to take a short rest. Huh? <sighs> Let's clean house. Roger that. Right. Oh, we can easily well. Do I will serve as your opponent. Very these, well. These guys will easily do it. Go! And what can they really do? My turn. That one down. Now it's time to get this. Okay. I'll handle that. Just My keep turn. attacking. Here and they go. can do. Okay, it's safe for now. Okay, they gone. They was easy. It's only two of them. Now they easy even when you're not on level 99. I think they kind of suck. They like the prelude to the boss. Okay, so we got Maki out of there, and they on the ground just dead. So let's get up out of here. Got Maki let's go. Let's roll on. Uh, if I hadn't been so careless, this would never have happened. There wasn't much he could. There was nothing he could have did. Okay, so these guys ain't voices. Uh, they're a twirly mustache man. Uh oh, what's happening? Okay, let's get up out of here. Oh, whoa, that thing coming quick. Whoa, look at this. Okay, well, I got put on turbo. Right, anyway. There are two of them. And fast. Hurry. Right. Yeah. There's two of them. Hurry. Where are we going? 
Oh, they got the dogs. The, the dogs are... They jumping quick. Oh. Boom. Oh. Crazy and dope. Crazy. You're very well trained. Cats? No, no, dogs. They're like dogs. Your family's army employs monsters like this? No one ever told me. A crazy and dope. They aren't going to let us pass, are they? <sighs> Pretty oh. smart for beasts. Crazy and dope. So we'll just have to take him down. Indeed. Bad dogs require stern discipline. Crazy dogs. Time to wrap up this month's field study. Class 7, Group A. Commence attack on the target. All right. Crazy dogs. This might actually be a challenge. Good. My turn. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? It's my turn. Okay, what's her special? Is this attack? All right, do it. It's my turn. Okay, do yours too. What's your ultimate shot? Yeah. What about the ultimate shot? My turn. Okay, that didn't seem to kill. Okay, what's your special? Get this guy. Okay, man, go ahead and do yours, even though yours is not fully charged. It's my turn. Hit him. Get this guy. Got him. All right, cool. That takes care of them. All right, the two the two uh, Dovers are gone. Dovers. We did it. <sighs> I have no intention of letting filthy beasts get the better of me, trained or otherwise. <laughs> trained or otherwise. So yeah, you just got the same voice actor as the person that put Eugene on. Hey, I don't know. Fun fact. Honestly, now. This is no laughing matter, you know. <laughs> Look who's talking. Not as much as you are. There they go. I don't think we could have wrapped this month's field study up more perfectly if we tried. We were all able to form combat links with one another, too. Damn. We're not through the woods just yet, it would seem. We're not through the woods. What well, we? Well, oh, they running like minions. <sighs> the minions are bad. You've pushed your luck one step too far this time. Too far, Lord. Are you that desperate to be thrown in a cell with? <laughs> if you want to arrest <laughs> us, go right ahead. Step too far. Lord Eustace, what are you doing here? I thought you'd been locked in the mansion. In the mansion. I chose to return to my studies. Well, what's it to be? What's it to be? You're not Accusing even my supposed to of be. This crime will implicate me as well. Uh, we, we we couldn't possibly point our rifles at Lord Eusis. Oh, Silence! Get him! Get Eusis out of there! Not even Lord Eusis has the right to trespass in a military facility, much less to release a suspect in our custody, directly opposing the orders of His Grace the Duke. Why is he talking like this? Enough! Enough! Enough of this bad talking. We may not be the best of friends, but I am Yusis Albarea. I will not simply stand by and watch as one of my classmates is arrested under false charges and used in a tool in some political war. Yusis. We have our orders, and nothing you say will change that. Disarm them, men, Lord Yusis included. That will not be necessary. What? Impossible. Lord Rufus? Lord Rufus! <laughs> Why did he say it twice like that? What in the world? We'd heard you were in the capital. How? I received a message from the Academy at noon today. And I returned by airship as quickly as I could. That was ridiculous. With your instructor. What? Looks like you've all done a fine job. Instructor Sarah? What are you doing here? I've been filled in on the circumstances, more or less. I'll take care of matters here. You all return to your post. But, but Lord Rufus, with, with all due respect. I've already informed my father. Or do you intend to embarrass me beyond your other transgressions? No, of course not. Second company, withdraw! Sir! Please, excuse us. Oh my. 
You can tell they're well trained, if nothing else. The provincial army takes its training very seriously, of course. Though I resent the mere notion that it could be misused so grievously. I'm sure you do. So, what brings you here, instructor? Seriously. Your timing is a little too <laughs> good. Did you come after receiving word from the provincial army? Nope. I actually heard about what was happening a little earlier from a friend of mine. As soon as the news reached my ears, I shot to my feet and got right in contact with the director here. And he was kind enough to give me a ride on his airship back from the capital. I don't know what to say. Got an airship? Honestly, you seem to be prepared for virtually everything. Uh, wait a second. Director? Oh, you don't know yet. I also serve as a permanent member of the Academy's Board of Directors. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to meet again in that capacity. The Board of Directors? Why is this the first I'm hearing of this? <laughs> <laughs> I decided to keep it a secret so I could see the look on your face when you found out. Oh uh, man, this guy's hilarious. I'm not the only member of the board though, of course. I'm simply one of three permanent members. That explains why you knew so much about Class 7. Way too well prepared. Still, I had no idea my father would attempt something so foolish while I was away. He's always been an obstinate man, but he's simply gone too far this time. As a member of the Academy's board, I cannot remotely condone the unlawful arrest of a student. Rufus, thank you for your concern. So I guess Machias was right, but not right. I don't know. <laughs> no more dialogue. He just in the car. In the car and he gone. He just in the car and he gone. Gone. Gone, 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 gone. So that's class seven, eh? Hey, he does talk. A little rough around the edges, but they managed to get through in one piece. I think I see now why you're so fixated on them. Now that's the Sarah. voice of Whis from Dragon Ball Z. And Rufus Alborea. I've heard people say he's the sharpest noble of the bunch, but still. What business could he possibly have over by the canyon so early in the morning? Is that what you were about to ask? Who are you? <laughs> Pay me no mind. I'm but a low-ranking noble. I've been watching over those young students to see what they're capable of. Students. Much like yourself. Really now? You'll forgive me for asking, but you look awfully like someone a couple of acquaintances mentioned to me a long time ago. You wouldn't happen to have some fancy-sounding stage name or anything, would you? Ha <laughs> ha! You'll just have to find that out on your own. Your acquaintances wouldn't be a certain innocent young couple from a foreign land, though, would they? You'll just have to find that out on your own. Indeed. Well, if you'll please excuse me, it's almost time for the airship to depart, and I really must be getting back to Heimdall. So they reference in the Sky Game. Trails into the sky. May we meet again, young bracer. Do give my regards to the purple lightning, if you would. Uh, as if the situation weren't messy enough, it seems we've got another source of trouble on our hands now. I'd better let the others know, just in case. Now we're back. To the school of torture. <sighs> and you call yourselves teenager. Unlike me, you actually get to go to sleep every night. You should be full of energy by this point in the day. <sighs> Give me a break. Considering all that's happened this weekend, I think we can be forgiven for being a little tired. Well, that's certainly true enough. Group B had their fair share of problems to deal with as well, but they weren't quite as serious as yours. Although they were of a similar nature. What do you mean exactly? Did they also wind up getting involved in a conflict between the two factions? More or less. St. Ark is another territory belonging to one of the four great houses, after all. So they got themselves caught up in a bit of trouble. The four of them managed to get through it together in the end, though. Well, that's good. <sighs> that's a relief, yeah. Sarah. 
Just what kind of Mira did they pour into buffing up Aurox Ford anyway? What we saw was nuts. So I've heard. And the Provincial Army isn't the only force trying to improve its armaments. The Imperial Army is doing the same. With the Blood and Iron Chancellor and his 20 armored divisions squarely at the center. Really? <clears throat> how should the Military Academy... How should we act in a situation like this? We keep going to school, that's what we do. Thor's graduates join both the Provincial and Imperial Armies, right? That's nothing you need to be worrying about. Not right now, at least. You're at the Academy to learn. That's all you should be focusing on. While you're there, it's true that you may be forced to acknowledge some of the more unpleasant realities of Erebonia. But I believe there's something special to be gained from that. Something you can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as you're together with your friends and classmates, people for whom there is no substitute. Uh, uh... Maybe when you graduate and go out into the world, much of what you've learned at Thor's will have little meaning. But I still truly believe that sometime, somehow, what you experience as part of Class 7 will be an invaluable treasure to you. It may not seem that way now, but I know in my heart that it will someday. Instructor. <laughs> you almost had me there for a moment. <laughs> That was the last thing I ever thought I'd hear from you. Hey! What's with all the laughing? <laughs> I, I, I'm really sorry. You, your words were quite touching, but... Coming out of your mouth, they were just... Painfully droll. Something we can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as we're with our friends and classmates, for whom there is no substitute. <laughs> Stop that! Are you trying to kill me? You kids are awful. I was being serious, you know. Why must this instructor thing be so difficult sometimes? <laughs> yeah, I was... What the... What is going oh, on? Looks like they got back okay. So glad I didn't have to bust in and save them. <laughs> I thought it was all over when I got spotted at the fort, though. Hey, hey, White Rabbit here! Uh-huh. Everything went A-okay. Uh, don't sweat the details. I did what I was supposed to. No sign of them, though. But I did find a bunch of other interesting stuff. What? Fake intel? Someone managed to get a leg up on you and Gramps? Must have been one heck of a guy. Huh? Me? I'm gonna go meet up with Claire now. Gotcha. See you then, Lecter. Hmm. I wonder what that military academy they mentioned is all about. <laughs> Sounds kind of fun. Lemmy! Now, Lecter also appeared in a previous game. Yep, yep. We're, let's uh, get going. He appeared in the Zero games. I don't think he was in the Sky games, but I know he was in probably one of those. He was in both of those, probably. Zero and Azure, which features the SSS crew or whatever, which you can also play that before. Oh, we did it. All right, anyway. Um... That concludes chapter two, The Verdant City. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it and you made it this far, and consider giving a like, uh, subscribe. We will finish this and everything. And yeah, and if you got anything in the comments you want to put it down below, go ahead and leave that down below. But definitely like the video because these Trails of videos don't get made because people don't like them, I guess. We'll watch them. So push it out. Like the video. Anyway, I'm out, my man, and I'm out. Take care.